That question's good. So we're going to go on question eight. Some people believe that your writing technology only applies to the track. And do you believe that that other skill sets from motorcycle riding can cross over to other activities? We kind of hit on this earlier, but I want to hear what you think about this. The track is provides us as the school and our coaches and the students an environment where their ability to focus on their riding is far, far, far greater than it is on the street. Right. So at a track, we have some straightaways, we have some right corners and some left corners, a variety of those, and students are able to focus that much better on just the riding part of it. And we, we, I, I think of it like this, you know, if, it, if we approach a technical point on riding, uh, say lines, for example, or throttle control or braking, whatever it is, let's just say lines. If we can't get the rider to do this on a track that's four lanes wide, most of them are about 40 feet wide, right. that if we can't get them to do it there, with that much space and that much, you know, uh, buffer zone, you know, uh, um, uh, sort of latitude for making errors. If we can't get them to do it there, it's hopeless to think that he's going to be able to do it on the street. Right. I, I can see that because on the track there's, you don't have to worry about being T-boned or side traffic or animals or potholes or anything that would cause you to divert your attention. And, and I, I can see that. If you can't get him to do it in a controlled environment where it's safe, how are they going to do it in an environment where it's not as safe? Yeah, exactly. And uh, the, the problems of writing are the problems of writing. You know, you got a corner and you have a corner there. There are certain things that you need to know in order to be really good at doing corners. And, um, you know, the list is very long. It's not a short list. It's a very long list. So uh, that's why we have... Um, have four levels to the school, and the, the final level, level four, is a, it's a custom program for each rider. Each, each rider is on their own program in level four. It's not a set curriculum on like it is in level one, two, and three, where we go over the real core uh, elements of riding and, and um, bring those to the forefront so the riders do really understand what the, what the actual fundamentals are. And you know, fundamentals are, are absolutely indispensable in, in any activity. In any activity, it is it is totally. I concur with that a hundred percent. It's the reason why I got so good at. Within two years, I almost became a semi pro bowler. I went from a seventy average to a two hundred average in two years because I had a pro bowler, help me with my fundamentals, and he. You can do something wrong long enough and make it semi right, but it's better to do it right the first time and get good muscle memory and good body control doing it right. And therefore, it leads you to less correction down the road. And, yeah. and by having the pro bowler that set out and helped me get very straight lined, if you will, there was no, no aberration, no, no, none of that. It was just, we're going to teach you what you need to do. And within literally within two years, I went from a 79 average to a 200 average and I was doing well. I was winning tournaments and, it doesn't matter why I didn't go, but the point yeah, that's is great. that's great. That's great. That's, that there you have there you have it. You know, fundamentals in in any activity, any science, any art, yeah, any 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 pursuit of any kind, any profession. If you don't understand the fundamentals of it, then you you always will be tripping on them. They will always be a problem. Those are things that will always come up, and and uh, filter through the entire activity, whatever it may be. Bowling in your case, probably the same with archery. and Same with archery, and, yeah. Literally everything that uh, the humans do. There are fundamentals to them, and that was my quest when I first started. started this is, okay, what are, the, what are the fundamentals? What are the basics? What are, what are the core technical skills that, that, uh, that can be defined and then, and then uh, break them down into exercises so that people can actually learn them? Right. Yeah. No, it's huge. It's part of the reason why I've only been doing archery for six months, and I'm already averaging out of 300. I'm averaging 285 right now. Whoa! So there you go. yeah, I'm only like 15 point or 15, you know, points away from perfect, and I'm only been doing it for six months. But it's That's the same the thing. It's the fundamentals. You 
I had a, another archer. I knew what to do. I asked for help, and he slowly for surely, I worked on one thing at a time until I mastered it, and then I went to the next, and and I didn't try to overwhelm myself, and here I am, and I'm doing pretty good. I think you'd be really happy to grab a book called Zen and the Art of Archery if you haven't read it already. I haven't. I've only, I'm new to archery. I've only been doing it, like, like I said, six months this month. This is my six-month mark. You can get it on Kindle or iBooks. It's called Zen and the Art of Archery. You'll, you'll love it. I'm going to have to get it for sure. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to get it. it it's, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And I'm a big firm believer in fundamentals. I mean, I've, I've coached paintball teams, and I was a pretty decent paintball player, even though I'm a monster of a man. I mean, it's really, paintball is really meant for guys your size, like five guys, like five foot six, five foot four, small dudes, you know, they don't weigh anything and they can hide better. But here I am, six foot three, 300 pound guy, and I'm killing it out there because I worked on fundamentals. I worked on getting myself sound. And again, we can talk about this all day, but it really, if you want to get good fast, get your fundamentals in. You can get good longer, maybe, but you're gonna, your body adapts. And one of the things I've found from watching pro bowlers on TV that's been bowling since they were three, they have weird looking things. Like they don't look fundamentally sound, but their body found a way to make it happen. So their body does it, and after a million times of doing it, that's how they do it. And it's not something another person can just start bowling and pick up and, and duplicate. Right. You know? Yeah. So, so yeah, that's the number one way. Like I try to tell everybody that wants to do a new activity, you want to get good fast. Don't worry about the, the advanced. Get the core fundamentals in, and you'll progress quickly. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Okay, so I think we got that one good. This one is a really important one because this one's really hit home for me. Number nine, your concept of having a $10 bill available of attention, that has helped me in so many aspects of my life. I can't even explain to you how that has transcended not just motorcycle riding, but into anything that involves around high speed, anything like paintball, where you get the Dodge 200 mile per hour paintballs, or everything's happening so fast and your attention has to be thrown out as far as possible. This $10 bill is is huge and there's there's it's amazing like i've read a lot of your work and i've listened to your audios and but that piece i have taken in anything that involves like i said anything high speed if it's slow speed it's not as important but if anything that's happening like really fast and you can miss things i've used this ten dollar bill i've helped other people become good paintball players or coach other people using the same concept. And I've actually taken it to Brazilian jiu-jitsu too because it, it works. <laughs> it just works. I mean, if you understand how the $10 bill works, it's amazing. And I wonder where did you come up with it and thank you. Well, uh, yeah, I, I've had a lot of successes over the years with people applying the, uh, the idea. The idea is very simple. That at, at any given moment of time, uh, we we have uh, our awareness. And when I was uh, writing the first book and came up with that idea, I, re I realized also that at, at any given moment in time, uh, the our awareness is uh, limited to whatever it is at that moment. It's not to say you can't expand it, but it's at, in the moment, you you've got what you've got, and if you put your attention on one thing, then there are other things out there that, that suffer. And as I started to see that, you know, there were lots of different aspects to riding, many, many things that, that a rider actually does pay some attention to, uh, then I came up with the, you know, the $10 bill. And I said, okay, if you have $10, $10 worth of attention and you spend, uh, you know, nine ninety five on uh, just letting the clutch out when you when you start. You only have a nickel left to figure out where you are, how fast you you want to get there, and yeah. it's probably a good chance you're going to make a mistake with the gas or something else. You know, it boils down to even simple actions like that. Right. <clears throat> and in, in, in cornering, you have to take into 
account, your actual lane angle, your speed of, of entry, uh, have a good idea of uh, where you want to go, some uh, sense of, of the line that you want to have. Physical body uh, anchor points like your knees and, you know, getting everything anchored to the bike. Yeah, all that stuff. Uh, there, there's just, you know, lots, lots of little pieces to it. And, and lots of pieces. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been very successful. It's what I think the thing that from the very first uh, twist of the wrist that most people uh, do have some some new awareness of it and are able to use it as a tool. So, yeah, it's 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 great. It's a tool. It, 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 just as you have used it, uh, many, many have for many other things. And uh, it's, it's very cool for me to, to do it because, you know, I was just sitting there banging away on a typewriter and I went, oh, this is really neat. <laughs> and here, 35, six years later, it still resonates with, uh, with everybody. And that's, Absolutely. that's pretty cool for any writer. Absolutely. And it's not, just, it's not just a writing tool. It's for anything that's high speed. It could be used for tennis. It could be used for anything that involves with reaction and getting narrowed fixation on your tunnel vision or anything where you, you need to like be able to expand and be aware of things. And that's one of the reasons why I had such good field awareness on my, I have a couple of paintball videos on my channel, but part of my field awareness is because I used a $10 bill. I focused on, if I didn't have to think about what my body's doing or how to shoot or how to move or any of that stuff, I can worry about what my enemy's doing, what my opponents are doing, and I can focus on them. And then I'm not focusing on what's happening two inches from me. And it was incredible how, quickly that allowed me to advance on high speed things. Yeah, that's good. I, it, it's, uh, it's another way of looking at priorities. Right. Yeah. And that, that, that's another, it's another way of saying the same thing. You know, you have a certain amount of awareness, how much, how much should you spend, be spending on each aspect of whatever it is that you're doing at the time. That's right. Like mowing the lawn. For that, for that matter, but anyhow. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, well, great. I'm, I'm really pleased that you, that you, you had some great wins with it, and uh, I have fantastic because I've had thousands and thousands of successes that sound very similar to yours. And like I said, that for anybody who's you know a writer, that 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 just about that, that just about makes makes life worthwhile, right there. Absolutely, I can see that. I can see that from your perspective, having someone years later tell you, hey, this was awesome. Thank you for writing this. Thank you for, you know, I mean, and I can see how that would be very validating, extremely validating. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I mean, it, it just really helped my activities and just, especially, you know, when you're just trying when you're doing things and you don't have a lot of time to invest in something, you got to practice when you can. And, and it really helps you figure out where you need to practice at and how to make your $10 stretch. Yeah. That, that, that's another great point right there. Yeah. Good. As you see in Australia, good on you, mate. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>